guys welcome back so in our previous session we had seen the smtp mail flow between our client and the mail server how the communication was happening what kind of response codes was your mail server providing you and what kind of uh, commands your client was pushing to the mail server and finally it stated as goodbye so the same packet capture i have here so you see this is what the communication that was happening between the this is the client admin and this is the mail server both of them having the same packet capture and everything this is what the communication that was happening between the client and the mail server all right so today we will see while receiving the mail what is happening okay so this is sales let me close the admin and the mail servers all right now we are in the client which is sales sales has received this particular message if you see here sales has received this message let me open it you see this is what we had sent from the sender which is admin and now i have received this message let me go to the packet capture here and filter for pop and you see here guys the first the communication is happening from server to the client and here post office protocol you have and even pop3 users transmission control protocol which is tcp guys smtp pop3 imap users the services of tcp it's simple these are all application layer protocol that's totally fine but uses the service of the transport layer and these are all tcp based protocol and do you see the port number what your pop3 is using 110 110 indicates that this is a default pop3 non-encrypted port number all right and the port number is non a non-encrypted means guys i can usually see the messages you know see here sales first what will happen first the server is giving an okay and then the client is sending capa see according to the response codes you have multiple response codes guys you can you can go to the google and then just search it out what is capa what is okay what is user so basically these are the communication that is happening between the client the receiver and the receiver's mail server see earlier in the previous session we had seen sender and the sender's mail server communication now what we are seeing is we are seeing the receiver and the receiver's mail server communication and you can see finally once the client the sales pc requests the server for all these details and everything you see here guys nothing is encrypted you can see the mail you can see the email here username is sales at the rate local server.com but when you used smtp did you see smtp was using the encrypted port number 587 so you could not see the username you could not see the password they were all encrypted actually but when we set up the client configuration it stated as it you are going to use a non-encrypted but usually when you use the port number encrypted port number such as 587 at least the username and the passwords are encrypted all right here you see we are using a pop3 and pop3 port number we are using 110 and this is a default pop3 non-encrypted port number that indicates clearly that you can see the email address along with that okay see here authentication is happening so in the authentication first you, the client is sending the username which is the uh, email and then server is asking okay email is perfect send your password then the client is sending the password and the password is also not encrypted and you can see the password clearly request command password and the request parameter is ab1234 see receivers and receiver mail communication if you're using a non-encrypted port number this is what happens everything is non-encrypted nothing is secure guys okay so password is there then okay mailbox locked and ready stat then okay list everything then uh, okay server is telling okay okay one message all these things data fragment you can open these fragments so not seeing anything let me open here let's look at the packet guys stat request command stat this is from the client this is server stating okay and this is from the client telling list all the things then okay and a message okay uh, parameter where is the message we can see the message guys we can see the entire message as it is not encrypted data 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 no indicator okay goodbye okay we have received the mail where is the mail see username sales here it is send your password password only password is ab123 once authentication is successful mailbox ready and locked mm, okay let's search with smtp here did it use smtp see 
on the receiver side it didn't even use smtp protocol and we don't have any smtp packets also present reason it's very simple while getting the message from the mail server while receiving the mail from the receiver mail server it only uses the client side protocol so basically now we sent a mail from admin so here it used the protocol smtp so basically here we are using smtp protocol between the sender and the sender's mail server and then between the receiver and the receiver's mail server i am using pop3 protocol pop okay so here even we don't have any of the smtp packets itself guys now if i send any mail from the sales pc now i'm going to the sales i'm going to write an email or i'm going to reply it okay i'm going to type an email for admin at the rate a local server.com okay and then subject let me say test a reply i'm going to say hey how are you all right now let me send it now i have sent the mail oh i haven't captured the mail guys let me capture it oh sorry capture it on the interface e0 along with that let me do one thing close all these packet captures close all these packet captures and on the sales side let me capture the packet e0 and also on the receiver side let me capture the packet on the interface e0 all right now this is on the sales side packet capture is going on this is on the receiver side admin now let me forward a reply again one more time and i'm going to forward this see here i'm going to forward it to admin at the rate local server.com yes and i'll say send sent now let me come over here and then pause pause the packet capture stop the packet capture done i'll go back to the pc here and also one more thing okay i stopped the packet capture that means here i haven't received the mail at right so go to the admin in the admin say get message let's not do that as of now close this packet capture this is on the sales side let me go to this is on the admin side let me quit okay again let me capture a packet here all right so this is the packet capture there let it keep on running in the meanwhile i'll go to the admin and in the admin now i'll go to inbox i don't see anything in my inbox i'll say get message you see now see immediately you can see the pop three messages i got the message done i'll pause the packet capture if you scroll up you see here guys this is what happened pop three okay the communication that happened your client the admin try to communicate with the server to fetch the information see the same set of information you can see over here admin at the rate local send password abc everything you can see here guys this is how you retrieve a mail from a mail server and on the sender side now this is sales guys this packet capture is on sales last time you haven't seen the smtp packets right now if i fetch for smtp you see the smtp see here this is how the things work all right see here the subject and everything you can see see as it is non-encrypted okay you can go to here internet message format to from and this is what your header looks like well, sure. simple mail transfer protocol data fragment thunderbird a reference from replay all right see here guys see subject you can see forwarded message to the uh, from sales to admin all these things you can see okay so basically this is how a packet capturing works and this is how the smtp pop3 and imap protocol works imap also works in a similar way to the pop3 okay so here we complete our email protocols guys especially smtp pop3 and imap along with the packet capture so you guys can put a comment if you have any doubts or any questions we'll try to post another video based on that particular queries all right see you guys bye take care thank you